Welcome to Life in My Greenhouse. Today, we are making a mouth-watering, irresistible steak sandwich. This is your official invitation to indulge in the sensational flavors and textures of this ultimate steak sandwich recipe. Let's talk about the ingredients you'll need for this recipe. Choose a high quality cut of steak, such as a ribeye or strip steak for that perfect bite. We will caramelize our onions until they're delectably sweet. We'll use a variety of colorful bell peppers and season to perfection. I'll do the heavy lifting and then you can customize however you choose. You can add crunchy pickles or a zesty aioli or your favorite tangy barbecue sauce. Customization is completely up to you. Add your own personal twists with your favorite condiments. I invite you to cook along with me when you have all your ingredients ready to go. Feel free to hit pause whenever you need to. Let's get into the recipe. Start by cutting your steak into thin bite-sized strips. Then add it to a bowl and season with garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, salt, and pepper. Approximately one teaspoon each. Add a generous splash of Worcestershire sauce approximately two tablespoons, and a tablespoon of soya sauce. Add chipotle powder and dried basil if you happen to have it on hand. You could also add cayenne pepper if you like it spicy. Add all the seasonings to your meat and mix to combine. You can also pre-season your meat days before if it'll save you some time. I love adding dried thyme to my meats. We grow it in our greenhouse, and so it's always on hand. If you love gardening, be sure to check out our garden playlist and see what's growing in our greenhouse. To a hot skillet, add a tablespoon of oil and one onion sliced. Use coconut, avocado, or vegetable oil. Caramelize your onions until they are soft and tender. The longer you caramelize, the sweeter they will be. I will also add some seasoning. Add fresh cracked pepper and salt to your onions as they caramelize. When your peppers are nice and golden, add thinly sliced bell peppers to your skillet. Allow them to tenderize as you continue to cook your onions, stirring occasionally. As your veggies sizzle on the skillet, move them to the side and add another tablespoon of oil. Now go ahead and add your steak to the skillet, evenly distributing the steak onto the surface. Allow your steak to remain in the same position before moving it for at least three minutes. This will allow it to have a beautiful sear. I'm sure we can all appreciate the sound of the sizzling steak in the hot pan, serenading us with a tantalizing melody. These savory notes harmonizing as the juices dance with the heat. It's really a culinary symphony, an ode to the artistry of cooking that we all enjoy. If you appreciate the sizzle, type sizzle in the comments. Turn your steak to the other side once it's properly seared, about four to five minutes. After four minutes, stir your onions, steak strips, and peppers all together in harmony. Now what's a steak sandwich without bread? A hearty ciabatta or crusty baguette can complement the robust flavors of steak, providing a satisfying texture and taste that enhance the overall sandwich experience. While you're finishing up your steak, butter and toast your bread. Your succulent steak is now ready to be nestled into the warm embrace of your freshly toasted bread. For extra flavor, go ahead and add your favorite barbecue sauce or provolone cheese. Mm -mm -mm. Take a moment to admire your culinary work of art. The combination of juicy steak, fresh vegetables, and delicious flavors that you enjoy. Whether you're hosting a backyard barbecue or simply looking for a satisfying meal, this recipe is guaranteed to be a crowd pleaser. Before you take a bite, can you kindly do me a favor? Go ahead and like this video, 
and please subscribe to our channel to become a part of the Greenhouse family. Type new in the comments so I can welcome you. And remember to hit the notification bell for more tantalizing recipes. As a thank you in advance, I've included a recipe card, which you can also find on Instagram in our recipe box. Thank you so much for watching, my beloved. Take care of yourself, and remember, the grass is always greener where you water it. See you next time.